Hey, you wanna go fishing? Come by Powell's Bait Shack. Just kidding, this is Salamancer. Uh, we're watching Powell, who really looks like he, he wants to sell you some worms right now. But, this is gonna be a SIVO game uh, between Sunday Fun Day, aka Ask Four, and Swag Pantalones in the red, who have not tagged up at all. It's gonna be very confusing for me, but uh, I guess we'll work through it. We do have CP Granary here. I don't remember what week this was from. It was a while ago because this is actually a demo that was recorded pre-Halloween update. I just now got around to it, but I do want to show off these SIVO teams who are looking pretty good so far. Uh, Sunday Fun Day so far getting a little hurt here. So even though they've got one kill, they're going to start losing players very fast as long as just a couple of rockets or things. Yeah, there you go. Scout does finish off the medic there. Uh, and very quickly, we're going to see the rest of the Ask for team. Sunday Fun Day probably getting wiped out. Uh, Ray is deciding to do a little ambush down here. If people look for him, then they should be okay. If they don't, he could very easily force a pop on the medic or even take him out. So, um, you know, of course our red team did win that. But yeah, nobody checking the ambush spot so far. Oh, Demo found him, but he's getting pressured anyway. Nicely done here by our scout. That's going to be Ray's... Ah, I got taken out, though. <laughs> Shootist. Um, who is Shootist? He's a soldier. And it looks like they have paused. Okay, there you go. During pauses, chat boxes are an invaluable resource. All right. Yes, they are. In fact, when you've paused the game while you're in the game, you can only uh, you can only type like one thing in the chat box. It's kind of lame because once you've hit enter, it doesn't let you type again. Uh, anyway, uber advantage for our red team. So they did manage to successfully win the mid fight, kill the enemy medic, not lose their own. Uh, they decide to uber in right now, which means they are going to definitely capture the second point. But if they can't take out Mayor here then they're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Ray's has been taken down, so actually looks like our red team here is doing really well so far. Uh, Sunday Funday, oh, are pushing back in now, though. They've taken out Dane and Powash. Pow, 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 Ash. I'm calling Pow now. That's, that's what that's we'll go with. Um, oh, Shark. I'm going to call this Shark. Shark did get taken out there, missing the pipes and just a little bit too overextended, so you got to be careful about that as a demo. Uh, if you don't have a medic behind you and maybe a soldier and a scout to help out, trying to go up against uh, a soldier-medic combo, just not the thing you want to do. But Shark so far down. Um, Dr. Ice pushing out here right now, and I think part of the uh, part of the appeal of our Ask For team... Oh, nice kill on the medic there by Dr. Ice. Uh, part of the appeal of their team is they do seem to have Xbox gamer tags in the middle of their name. Except not the Burrito Man, apparently, or Ray's. Mayor McCheese here, too. So, I don't know. Some of them have it, some of them don't. That's that's a little confusing, but I don't I don't like this one. Whatever. Shark is uh, just now getting behind the rest of his team. Not really using Sticky Bombs to jump forward. Shoot just gets taken down, though. And so, Sunday Funday is going to push right on into the second point. They were back on their own second, but did manage to put together a very successful attack here. Uh, capitalizing on some of the bad positioning, I think, by Swag Pantolones. Uh, we got our scout doing that little scout jump where you can you can hop up on this little metal ridge and then uh, then use it to hop up to the upper area, which is it's kind of cute. It's good for mobility, I guess. But so far, nobody really uh, pushing through this upper doorway. Let's see what the defense looks like. We do have medic soldiers standing right over here uh, on that pipe. It's not a bad spot to be standing. You get a little bit of cover from the enemies who are pushing in. Uh, these guys are yeah, they're building their Uber at a decent rate, and in fact, it seems like they're building it faster than Sunday Fun Day is. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of like the decision by Sunday Funny just to keep everybody overhealed. It's not a bad idea, but they got to watch out for somebody like Shootist here who could get a very nasty ambush if they push into the high ground, which right now they're not doing that. They've just got the Burrito Man watching through these windows. They're going to wait until they have the Uber, and then, oh, it looks like Shootist actually did uh, decide to take a couple shots there, and he may end up dropping back through the window, but he's got a, he's got a nice escape route as long as he doesn't get caught out there, juggled or something. Whoosh, all right. Uh, nobody pushing yet. So this is a situation where really what the blue team needs is a pick. They need to get some kind of advantage in players or advantage in positioning or something like that. And so far they're not getting that. Shootist gets taken down, so does a burrito man. So uh, they've each lost a soldier. That's not really something you can push on with the Sunday Fun Day team. And what they're doing is they're, they're sitting here waiting to see if the red team pushes into them or makes some kind of a mistake, but you can't expect that. And there they go. They do finally bring their medic and their soldier out. Um, gotta watch out for that. And they do... Okay, they just popped the Uber now. Scout was trying to come in and take out the demo, so forcing the flash there to him. Good for him. But let's see what happens after the Uber is over. It looks like so far two mem down, actually, for our red team. And Mayor McCheese still up with 24 health, keeping his team alive. Yeah, they've got this. 
nicely done for the Sunday Funday team, so that was a very successful push. Uh, what could Swag Pantalones have done better there? Um, not die as much. And that sounds like, oh, Salamancer, you're an idiot. But seriously, uh, when you've got that Uber coming in, you just need to stay away, find a way to drop back so that they can't deal that unreturned damage, and then, you know, if they're flankers coming in at you, you just make sure that you, you've got your good deathmatch skills and that you can remain alive, because remaining alive on that last point so that you can continue to deal damage to the enemy is what you gotta do when they're pushing in. Uh, red team right now, oh, do they do lose Dane immediately, so already their demo down. But Soldier jumping in on top of the Medic can't quite get him down yet. Ouch. Uh, Mayor McCheese at 50 health at the moment. But this mid-fight is still anybody's game. Raze looks like he may get taken out here. Where is all this action going on? Uh, there is a scout coming in on top of the blue team, but it looks like Team Ask For has managed to get the advantage here. The Burrito Man going in after the Medic. He's got to be careful here. Playing a nice little roaming soldier job, but doesn't want to die to the other soldier. So nice, nice retreat by him. And he'll get the uh, he'll get that health right back up. Not at crit heals yet. Crit heals are a great thing. But there you go. He is going to just go. He actually got a 300 buff, which is very nice of the medic to do that. And that means he can zip in here uh, with that 300 health and do a lot of damage. Oh, Doctor Ice though taken down. So one soldier is gone for our blue team. And uh, in the absence of like a really star demo man, you've got to have those soldiers up if you want to make a push. Power goes down as well. So it's one soldier once again down for each team. There goes the Uber. And Ray's now taken out, but oh, our medic is taking so much damage here. There he goes. Nice roller, I think, finishing him off. That might have actually just been a straight pipe to the face of Mr. Bella. Uh, Mr. Bella. Uh, I hope that's his last name, and he's not like a Twilight fan who is a male, but uh, who knows. Oh, wait, Lyco getting taken out there by Sunday Fun Day's FVL? What's FVL? Is it like Fievel from those old. Those old uh... Oh, were they, were they Disney movies? I'm not sure if they were Disney, but. It's definitely these movies about a mouse. Um, in fact, I think that their last name was like Mouskowitz or something like that. Nice ask for it. Wins the second round there as well. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Fievel Goes West. Man, that was like my bread and butter in childhood. Anyway, uh, we're going to watch the shark roll out here. Let's see if he can't get that looking pretty good. So far, not too bad. Make sure you get the jump in here. He seems to be having a little bit of lag. Could just be the STV compensating for something, though, because uh, good rollout by the demo. He is, I think, yeah, he's just going to walk straight out of the garage. So it's a, it's a bit of a risky rollout because, you know, you can have these soldiers jumping in very quickly. You can, yeah, you get uh, just like that. You get taken out really quickly if you're not careful. So that, that rollout through the garage like that, that's a risky one. Uh, most of the time, demos will take, you know, the rollout where they're basically where the blue team is just getting spammed out of right now. Um, because that lets, it's, it's a bit safer. And look at that, Sunday Funday, losing that mid-fight severely. But uh, Mayor McCheese with 100% Uber. He just needs to make sure he doesn't pop it early. Um, and there we go, somebody in the stream chat uh, validating my personal preferences as a child, saying that uh, he watched Five Goes West like every day when he was young. Yeah, dude, you know what I'm talking about. It's a great movie. Um, so I'm going to call that guy Fievel, and I'm going to assume he has giant floppy ears and clothes that don't fit him, because that is hilarious. Sunday Funday sitting back here and trying to defend the second point. They are taking quite a few hits here from these pills, though. And Oh, don't walk on pills! Walking on pills is so bad. I mean, that's what doctors tell you all the time, because then they have to throw them out. But uh, in TF2, it's even worse, because they explode, and then you die. So... The Burrito Man going to be... This is an interesting position. I'm not sure I've ever seen anybody holding on right here before. Um, it's not bad, but the escape route is really iffy. Like, I guess when you're pushing in here, it can be hard to hit the guy. But if you were to, like, pogo jump over here or something, you could pop him up in the air really easily and take him out. So, I don't know. It's it's interesting. It, it hasn't happened to him yet. He seems to have a good defensive position. Scout's getting taken out. Wow. And Pow has been taken out. Shootist. This is not good for our red team, and they're still pushing with this. They use the Uber. I would not have done that. Probably should have dropped back. Um, although Dane may get a good kill here, does end up taking down the Burrito Man. And you know what? I actually I just realized that this this tag here from them is uh, <laughs> it's like ask for Rays or ask for Shark, ask for Mayor McCheese. <laughs> Love it. Um, but they have recaptured the middle point because they did wipe out the red team. Yeah, that, they're just decision making there by by red could use some work. So yeah, hopefully they do make better decisions in the future, such as when to drop back properly. 
Um, but Bella, Mr. Bella, helping his team build that Uber as quickly as possible. They have a bit of a disadvantage, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go to Barcraft today. Today, of course, when I'm recording this is Sunday, uh, and it's going to be the finals, MLG Providence. I'm going to Austin. I'm going to meet TMP in person. I'm going to tell you guys all about what an awesome dude he is and why he's the best pirate. I'm going to learn, learn all the secrets. All the secrets about being the best pyro in North America while we watch StarCraft 2. Uh, that'll be excellent. And that is why I'm casting right now, because I have to leave soon. Anyway, our red team here has a decent defensive position. This is pretty standard. Um, and in fact, they're playing pretty far back, because actually I think they heard the enemy medic call, which is good. Uh, yep, there you go. There is the Uber right now, and Pawa taking the Uber in return. Gonna start dealing damage to these scouts who are trying to edge the point, but taking quite a few hits here. They gotta be careful trying to shotgun this guy down, but uh, I'm not sure if you realize how much damage he did there, because that scout was still quite okay. There you go. Fival has been taken down now, and our blue team is gonna get pushed back away from this. So, nice defense by Swag Pantolones. They've managed to knock out pretty much everybody. It is just Shark left up right now. Let's see where he's... Well, actually, there's Ray's. Oh, he just spawned. Shark, here you go. Where is he going to set up these sticky traps? Uh, ooh, can't actually set him up because already there's somebody on the middle point. So he pretty much just has to back away. And there you go. Now he's got a, a demo... Or a scout, I'm sorry, to defend him. He could have gone in there and tried to deal a little bit. But it's better that he backs out. That's the right decision. Doesn't want to lose himself there. Because um, then he'd have to find himself. No, doesn't want to lose himself because then his team would be out of a demo man, and that would make it much easier for our red team to push through here. There you go. The sticky trap set up right there on that uh, garage. He's just got to be careful not to take too much spam because, who is that? That is Dane, um, as in Dane Cook, doing some really good spam through the garage right now. I like to see that. Uh, the burrito man is uh, sitting back now and spamming through that door, which these guys, I mean, they look like they've got the good, uh, they've got the motions. They definitely do. That's, that's what you got to do. But, oh, yeah, good kill by, uh, on Lyco, so that's exactly what you need to do. You've got to watch out for the push coming through the right-hand side, though, and, yeah, that they're uh, now getting pushed in by an Uber. Mayor McCheese doesn't have an Uber of his own. He's going to get taken out here by the soldier. Nicely done for Swag Pantalones, who are going to push onto the second point here. They've lost their own medic as well, though, and they've got to watch out for all of these uh, respawners. They've got to watch out for this back cap from Ray's. Nice back cap by him. He snuck around their entire team while they were dying, and he may end up getting this capture. Gonna go have a uh, 1v1 with this scout, though. It's, oh, Pow Ash. Or Pow Esh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on, guys. Why, why would three of you name themselves the same thing? That is so confusing. Okay, Shark setting up a nice sticky trap there on the light, which is, it's, it's less visible than many others. In fact, like, if you walk through there like this, that's tough to see. So, I do like that sticky trap. We'll see if it hits anything. Um, meanwhile, though, uh, they know there's going to be a demo. So, pretty much, if you know that, you're just going to pop the Uber early. Especially in, like, your, your Premier Leagues or your, you know, Invite North America. But, these guys are Sivo. They are not Premier or Invite. Oh! Dane ends up with a sticky trap of his own, taking out Dr. Ice, Burrito Man, was trying to get really forward there and deal some rocket damage. Really, once you've lost one soldier even, um, you need to back up. This is going to be very, very difficult. I mean, they're, they're going to delay the enemy through these the garage, through the choke points, sure. But, uh, if they don't have their soldier getting back up, yeah, this is what's going to happen. They could end up losing the flank very easily, although those scouts did a really good job of taking out Shootist. Now, Fival is down, though. Uh, this is, I think, what they need. Red team going to push through here. They've got the Uber, and they haven't even had to pop it yet. Where is the medic right now? I think he is actually... Oh, Lyco taken down. But yeah, he's, he's actually pushing his entire team along the left side, going for the flanking route with the whole team. And Mr. Bella coming up right now. I don't like this decision. Oh, no, and they've lost Ash as well. So, yeah, oh, they got to get out of there. This is this is not where they want to be anymore. They've popped the Uber, but they only have a demo man here now. Um, and he could force to pop out a blue team, which he's done, but now they are so boned. And I don't know how else to say it other than that. Um... Medic somehow getting away from that because he is a little bit faster than that soldier who was not rocket jumping. So he might get away here. So we'll see. I mean, this is going to be the this is going to be the question of the ages. Looks like he has gotten back to the rest of his team, so was not punished too heavily for uh, for his transgression. But because of the weird decision there to uh, they lost a lot of players and then they popped the Uber anyway. That's just going to let Sunday Funday run right back on and take this point. So. That's what they're going to do. Uh, we may end up going 3-0 pretty quickly here. It depends, though, because right now, once again, Mr. Bella building up that Uber a lot faster. That's one of the mechanics they seem to have down really well. Uh, and is that Pawa, whenever he is hanging around the medic, he is just 
hurting himself, building the uber. You've got to remember that if you are above 142% health, I think, so if you're very close to maximum overheal, the uber builds like half as fast. So you, you got to hurt yourself. Keep yourself around like 200 health as a soldier, because that way the medic is constantly building that uber pretty much at the maximum rate. All right. Sounds like Shark got himself out of position there, but Shootus has been taken down. Shark's still alive. Where is that guy? Shark. There he is. Um, okay, so he got out of position briefly, but has been healed back up by the medic. And now, with one pick already on a soldier, our blue team is ready to push in here. That's that's a good decision. We've got a player advantage, and they don't want to waste it too much. But, oh, there goes the burrito man without forcing a pop or anything. Uh, blue team coming right in, though, and I like the movement by the demo. He's just completely avoided his opponent. Uh, of course, against a demo who could actually, like aim his stickies. That might not have worked as well, but, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I kid. I kid. But yeah, he just, he strafed straight across there, and, and practically nothing hit him. And meanwhile, though, Sunday Funday team has been pretty much wiped out here, so it's just Dr. Snoop Dogg 420 Dre Weed Ice, uh, and he has been taken out as well, so nice cleanup there by Lyco and Powa. Uh -huh. Uh, now the burrito man in an interesting position. He's going to jump up. Oh, and he found the medic. Oh, can't get those rockets off though. Now he did the right thing there. Um, trying to kill the enemy medic to give his team a bit of an uber advantage. Oh, that spy was actually spotted by Shootus, but I don't think he realized it. Where is Ray's right now? Uh, oh, gets behind that soldier and does a double stab and then gets away with it. That's pretty crazy. So... Yeah, I, I think we just briefly saw the outline of Ray's there as a, as a spy when, like, the soldier ran into him, and he didn't realize it was happening. So if you don't call that out, what's going to happen? You're going to get taken out. Uh, anyway, Ray's just walking right through here once again, and, I mean, they, they know to watch out for a spy now, but are they going to actually watch out for him? Is the question. And Ray's is going to have to probably decloak here. Nobody hears him decloak, though. Oh, are you kidding me? Goes for another chain stab, ends up taking out Lyco. But the demo man spotted him. He's uh, now done his spy work. He got three kills there as a spy, which is way more than you usually ever see. Good jump in by this soldier, though. Nicely done. Power. Showing us the power indeed. Ends up picking out Mayor McCheese very easily. Mr. Bella pulling up the needles here, trying to help his team do some damage because there is a scout and there was a soldier there as well. Oh, Mr. Bella finished off by the pistol from Fievel. So, Sunday fun day somehow holds on to that middle point there again. Gotta watch out for this scout, though. Uh, who is that? It's not Lego. That's Pow Esh. And Pow Esh dealing crazy damage with the meat shots. I think five will make it taken out. No. Raze comes in and finishes him off. So, good work. And now, our red team is here. It's going to be in trouble. Uh, they've got just a bit of an uber disadvantage. Where is Mayor McCheese right now? Uh, he needs to stop being the mayor of the town of McCheese and instead start healing people because that is his job now. Uh, I'm sorry, like... It's, it's good that you have the power of mayor, but that's not going to help you in Team Fortress 2, believe it or not. Um, mostly the power of mayor just lets you, like, have bureaucrats that work for you. And that's, honestly, uh, bureaucrats aren't good at playing TF2. So, Shootus and Lyco both down right now. Oh, with those two down, I don't, like, yeah, this is just bad by the red team here. Um, Swag Pantalones, like, they, oh, they did get the Burrito Man taken out, but look at this, because they were so far forward with the entire blue team pushing into them, now blue is going to cap this point with no contest and probably going to push in there and capture the last point as well. So, yeah, um... There you go. This is what happens when you try to stay in on that point for too long. You just get taken out. And so the round once again goes to Sunday Funday. Uh, good work there by Fievel, by the way, to duck in spawn. It looks like we do have another pause. Oh, there we go. Unpausing in 99999, that would be pretty bad, but it turns out that's not what was happening. Well, it is 3 to 0 right now in favor of the Sunday Funday team, who do seem to be uh, just a bit superior with their tactics. I haven't really noticed the DM of any of these players too much, but uh, our blue team has been tactically just a little bit better. They're making better calls as far as when to push and when to back up, um, and I like to see that out of our Sevo players here. Oh, Bella getting so hurt right now. Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. Bella, not, not, not Bella. You know what I mean. And there you go. Bella has been taken out. Twilight fans will be very sad about that. But, uh, oh, shootist. Tried to rocket jump with like 50 health left and ended up crashing into the ground. But, Powa here, the only red man, no, one of the two red men left alive. There you go. Powa ends up taking out um, Dr. Ice. Reading that kill notification is kind of difficult. 
Anyway, uh, Power is going to help capture this point here for our red team, and so the, the DM there of this particular soldier does seem to be quite good. He's got some good skill to him. But one thing I will say is that these guys need to make some better calls, and that's that's something that, I mean, you can just learn it with a little bit of uh, mentorship, a little bit of experience. It's like, once you lose one or two players, just don't keep attacking. Fall back, let the enemy push into you, which is what they're going to do. Make them cover a lot of distance, set some traps if you can. Um, you, know, you don't want to give up like an entire point if you don't have to, but the the aggression maybe is just a little bit too much when they start losing players here on our red team so maybe they'll start to realize that as this game goes on but that's a that's a tough thing to realize like in the middle of the game I know because I've played lots of competitive TF2 and it's at least for me it is very difficult to think about our tactics in the middle of the moment light goes down right now and look at this uh, our red team does look like they kind of want to push they've got their medic really far forward here in the garage which is just not good positioning for a medic. You've got to be staying back out of that garage because you can get spammed so easily. And look at that. Mr. Bella does get taken down by Fievel. Oh, that is not good for them. So, yeah, our red team here was out of position and possibly not even watching those flanks. Um, now getting completely wiped out here. Sunday Funday was just kind of waiting for that mistake to happen, and they definitely, they definitely paid off. Their patience is running really well for them right now. Nice kills by Dr. Ice. Um, Mayor McCheese with a domination here, so congratulations to him. You get a medal. Um, it doesn't mean anything, though, because it's just TF2. And a couple players here for Red Team respawning up in this cabinet. And it's still, the scout respawning here as well. Nobody's captured that middle point yet, which they may want to do, because Mayor McCheese just got taken out by a spawner. Oh, painful. Very painful. So, uh, here, here's a lesson for today from our Sevo cast, which is, w when you're pushing past the middle point, y you might want to cap it. That's... That's, uh, that's, that's probably a good idea. Anyway, they did cap it, but now Raze and Fievel both pretty much getting taken out. So, yep, there they go. Uh, meanwhile, wow, gosh, the the uh, coordination from these teams isn't all that great either. It's just like, once they get in these positions, it's just go bomb in and take something out. And, oh, kind of close to actually killing Dane there. I think Dr. Ice did take out uh, Pow Ash. So, yeah, that's, that's not a good trade, though. A soldier for a scout, you know... No. And now Mr. Bella is up to 100% Uber, so he's probably going to push in right now with these three players. Um, he's got a bit of time, and this is the kind of situation where if you realize what pr approximately what Uber percentage your opposing medic is at, um, you really just want to wait, because look at that. Mr. Bella's taken down here, and that Uber didn't really get a lot of damage done. Uh, now, Fievel and Shark, is, uh, Shark are both there. Sorry. Um, but... Our red team here is losing too many players. And so even though they capped that point, uh, with Pawa standing up here waiting for this health kit... Oh, oh, going for backup, though! No! Lyco, kind of close. Uh, almost worked out there for him, but it didn't. And so now he's just kind of hanging out behind, uh, looking for maybe another back cap, or maybe just getting some kills. I don't know. We'll see. Um, is that like a backwards cap? It's a backwards cap. I didn't know you could even have one of those as a scout. That's pretty cool. Um... Somebody's got to tell me what that is. But Lyco and Pawa both getting taken out once again because they were in a position where they were just going to get shot at. And so they got shot at, and then they died. Um, it's it's tough to realize where your entire team is, but I mean, sometimes just communication is going to be really important. And here, look at this soldier getting air shot out of the air, actually. Shoot us. Taken out by Dr. Ice, who is looking like a very good soldier right now. Mr. Bell having to drop back and using the needles to spam through that choke point. Good. Uh, so it means he is going to stay alive for a little bit longer, but he's got to go back and grab that health kit. Yeah, do that. Definitely do that. There you go. He does uh, grab a health kit, and now going to help heal the rest of his team, but Lyco taken out. Oh, interestingly, though, the Sunday Funday team has lost like half their players, and they are the ones pushing and taking the middle point now after having lost. This is really scary for them because they can't hold those chokes, and yeah, here comes an Uber right now in on top of their team. Mayor McGee's taken down with just 33% Uber. Um, so it could have been that I think what happened, they pushed him with the Uber, they lost a couple players, and then just tried to cap anyway. You got to watch those choke points because if you're not setting up sticky traps right away and you don't have people watching them, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get attacked. And so that was a very good decision making there by our red team to say, oh, they only have three players. Well, let's push in an Uber room and see if we can't get some kills. And that's exactly what they did. Nice kills by Shark, though. A good DM by him. Dang, apparently he is dominating Dane. Oh, gotta watch out for this. He does end up taking out Pow Ash, but just 
like WM1 straight into the combo, which is not a good decision. Mayor McCheese taken down now. Um, weird positioning for him because yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't be standing there myself. Um, well, maybe I would have if you guys have seen that latest video of me playing medic. I might have been standing there myself, but if I were a good medic, then I probably wouldn't have been standing. That's that's what I should have said. Uh, Judist jumping in now, and nice kill on Raze, immediately going after the demo man as well because he wants to make sure they don't get any sort of stickies in the point. There you go, it is now 3-1 to one with uh, the Sunday Funday team just crumbling a little bit there on the decision making at the middle point. That's uh, it's kind of what happened. So, it uh, could get a little bit closer here, couldn't it? Anyway, how much time is left in this half? It is... <laughs> what are the odds that I would press that at 420? I just, I hope nobody makes jokes about that, because it's like, it's it's annoying. It's just like, oh, 420, dude. I'm kidding. I love you guys. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Shark is now down, so he's the first casualty of this mid-fight. Uh, this is going to be really, really hectic here, and there you go, Mayor McCheese. Oh, wanted to back up through the garage. Should have done that a lot earlier, because now he's been taken down by the scout here, Pow Esh, who is probably going to finish off this soldier as well. Use that pistol. Oh, no, sir. Shotgun to death. Uh, Dane, the only one left alive for his team, it does get a good pipe there on... Oh, two good pipes in a row. Uh, Fivel, FVL here, with only about 26 health. So uh, he's not looking very happy about the situation, but he will be able to cap the point. Nicely done by him to finish that up, but that was a very, very brutal mid-fight for both teams. Mayor McCheese not healing anybody right now, and that's going to be detrimental. Got to get the heals on, because uh, already a 15% uber advantage for Mr. Bella. It's not huge. It's probably not going to be used, but uh, that kind of situation, you just want to be building an Uber as fast as possible, and usually, I like to see teams that push on the clock. Lyco and Shootus both taken down there. Shark and Dr. Ice taking him down, and Dr. Ice now jumping up into the garage. Uh, he's only got 130 health, so if he takes way too much spam here, he's going to die very quickly. But so far, not a lot of spam coming in. Shootist is down, so there's only one soldier to even do some of that spam. What is our red team doing? This is not what they want to do. Six versus four, and they're trying to hold forward in the yard. They're going to get taken out here. Shark taken down, but yep, there goes Mr. Bella. Uh, once again, it's, that, it's the decision-making here that maybe just shows some inexperience, which is understandable. It's like Sevo Open, so maybe these teams, it's like their first time really doing 6v6, and, and I do applaud them for playing because they've been doing a good job. I don't want to sound like I'm too harsh, but... Uh, just a bit of a lack of experience there being shown by our red team that they, they would try to hold really forward in a 4v6 situation. Ray's here, getting the cap on second already, and there's only two players left alive for our red team. So Sunday Funday really ought to push in and cap that last point as quickly as possible because, yep, there they go. Getting one more spawner up. That's going to be Dane. Now the demo man has respawned. We, we, oh, yeah, we've already got a soldier medic combo, but it's just just that combo, which is really, why wouldn't you push in with the rest of your team? I don't know. But Scout ends up getting the capture anyway, so Sunday Funny brings it to 4-1, to one, and they're calling GG, so uh, I think that's going to be it. Somebody said GH. Okay, well, we'll be right back. There you go. They do have a second half. The... Oh, we're on 15 FPS again. Cool, TF2. Hopefully that gets fixed pretty soon. No, maybe not. There, that'll fix it. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. But, no, right. ESEA has the halftime at three points. Halftime in SIBO is apparently four points. So let's see. They have switched teams. Uh, Ask for Sunday Funday is now in the red and have lost Shark immediately. But actually, it's... Oh, Mayor McCheese down as well. But yeah, what matters to these teams most of all is their soldiers. I think their soldiers should try to get out here. It's only 2v4. Uh, good decision by Burrito Man, but where is his friend um, taken down? So he may have been trying to bomb in on Bella or something, but... Not good. Not good. Anyway, our blue team is dropping back right now. Or no, attacking. I'm sorry. Our red team was dropping back. The Burrito Man was the only one who really was able to effectively do that. Uh, and a big uber advantage right now to Sunday Funday, who should be able to push in and capitalize on this very quickly. I do doubt whether we're really going to see an effective defense. Interestingly, the f one of the first off-classes of the match... Uh, uh, yes, this way. Sorry. Got completely confused. Got a heavy Dr. Ice on the last point. So... Um, no, I'm sorry. I said Sunday Funday pushing in. My bad. That's completely wrong. It is Swag Pantalones pushing in right now. And they have taken out a few players, but have lost a few as well. Oh, it's just going to be Shark defending, and he does manage to do that. He needs to immediately get out there and start capping that second point. 
Um, there's going to be some spawners fairly quickly, though. Dane already spawning, and Mr. Bella, and Shootus. He's got to set some sticky traps up right now. And no, set him up there on the right side. On the right side. Oh, no. <laughs> got to remember. Oh, and yeah, he, uh, Shootus is taken down. Actually, yeah, Shark killed as well. What you got to remember here is that the respawn, real quickly, is right there. And teams almost always walk left side straight through the Z because that is the fastest way to the point. So um, <laughs> I would have liked to see those sticky traps maybe in a better position, you know. But regardless, Sunday Funday was unable to recapture their second point. And so they are sitting back on their last with an uber disadvantage once again. Um, decent spam in here, and he's not being stopped. Dr. Ice really should have taken a lot of damage there. He was just standing still, firing rockets, and nobody did anything about it. Um, not the kind of thing you would see in invite level play. Like, as soon as that door opened, everybody would have been all over that. Like, kill that thing! But, uh, yeah. No off-classing this time around. So it's just going to be all standard classes. Shoot is taken down. Five all taken down in return. And it looks like, with the Uber just now popped, Mayor McCheese goes down. Didn't have that Uber ready to go. Pretty sure, anyway. And so, with only one man left alive, the Burrito Man. Yeah, he gets taken down. Sorry, your burritos won't save you. They are tasty, tasty, delicious, and so bad for you, but they will not help you defend a point. Um, I'm going to watch a Dane roll out here. So, my opinion is that with a 4-2 to two situation, it is possible, however unlikely, for Swag Pantalones to actually win this. Um, yeah, it does say ask for if you ask for up there, because that is just what happens sometimes. Um, but, dang, interestingly, taking the upper rollout, he actually, there's a faster way to get up there, and so he, uh, he's got a good amount of health, but didn't get in there very quickly to deal a lot of damage. Meanwhile, oh, Team Ask 4, which is the actual Ask 4, Sunday Funday, losing a lot of their players again. Time has been um, I don't know, man. Sunday Funday is taking a bit of damage here. They, they're making the right call to back up. Soldier getting juggled a little bit, but he is going to be okay. Um, and once again, Raze is on the spy. Last time Raze went spy, he did some crazy, crazy stuff. But, well, they've got the Uber ready to go. So, I don't know. Our blue team should have a bit of a positioning advantage in that they should have all the local numbers, but now Team Ask For is probably going to have that as well. Fievel coming out here and looking for a, a flank, but not going to get that. Where is our spy? Um, Raze. Oh, he's taking the drop-down route. So while all that fighting goes on, it looks like our... Uh, Uber was just popped for the Sunday Funday team. Raze is looking for somebody to backstab. Can't find him just yet. He's got to be really careful about where he decides to hide and has gone invisible. So is he going to be spawn camping? I don't know what he's doing right now. Um, like, he could have just gone in behind the blue team and taken him out. Looks like that's what he's going to do now. Uh, nobody's spotting him out yet. Good stab. Can't get the second one, but does pull out the revolver. Hasn't taken any damage yet. And so, oh, it is so annoying when you can't take out that spy. Ray is now going to be looking to get around behind the blue team once again. But we'll see whether Sunday Funday can recapture the middle point. With Ray's getting back out here, he should be able to do that uh, because they may just lose another player or two to the spy play as long as he doesn't get spotted out, but he has been spotted. So finally, they do a good job of catching that spy, taking him out. That's really what you got to do. Well, here goes Mr. Bella in this really forward garage position again, which as long as there's nothing out there, it's okay. So it looks like it is okay. Uh, must have been made that call. Ooh, taken out Mayor McCheese. Shark is down as well. Yeah, Sunday Funday playing kind of weird here. They are losing a lot of players just to poor positioning. So, Ask For only has two left up. And now Mayor McCheese is back up, but he's not healing anybody to build that Uber. Mr. Bella has 78, 80%. They should push in right now. They shouldn't even wait for the Uber. They'll have it by the time they get out there. And that's what they're doing. Good decision-making by them. Pushing on the clock right now. Getting a scout on there immediately. Dane is down, though. Maybe that was a demo man who got on there, actually. Oh, Medic! Oh, can he get this cap? Yes, he can. 20 health left on Mr. Bella. Didn't even get the Uber ready to go. But now it is 4-3. to three. This game has tightened up quite a bit, where I, I was pretty sure the Ask For was just going to, like, roll their way to victory in the second half, and that is not what's happening at all. Uh, the Burrito Man, now with uh, 50 health here, that's, that's pretty much where you want to be for this Equalizer rollout. And, of course, he's going to get those crit heals as soon as he puts the Equalizer away, because it's been about 10 seconds since he was damaged. So, uh, he just needs to wait for Mayor McCheese to actually get out here and heal him. Uh, don't go too far forward, Burrito Man, or you will start to take damage, and then there is no point! Oh, yeah, okay, gotta be careful. Uh, but they do get out there and do some damage. 
Oh, Mr. Bella getting smacked around, but actually 75 health or higher for him means he's going to be okay. And once again, a big mid-fight loss to Sunday Funday, who now have sent in another scout, Fievel, I think, to come in around behind. He's got some good DM, but not going to be able to take out two scouts at once. And Pawa looking for some kills here. He is pushing back the red team considerably, which his, his aggression is really good, but now he's taken out before the Uru was popped on him. Not going to be good at all because, yeah, this uber positioning is weird. Get out of there, man. You just got to drop back, and he has done that. He's now got a soldier, but this soldier could end up taking quite a few hits. Snoop Dogg, 420, Dre Weed, Dr. Ice takes <laughs> on Shootist. And there you go. Sunday Funny is finally putting something back together. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Ice going to push forward the rest of his team. Uh, now, Dane did end up pain training... Who is that? Shark. So... It'd be pretty cool. Burrito Man doing some good damage there on Powell, who finished off by Raze. Nice kill by Raze. Um, this is where I'm seeing some issues with Spike Pantalones because once again, they they're trying to hold in their yard with like a medic soldier, and that's it. They have almost no support. Who's watching the flanks? One scout, two scouts. But that means that basically, if you've only got two players here, one person to try and defend your medic and try and spam two, three choke points at once. That's really, really dangerous. Now they've got the rest of their team up there, so it worked out for them, but that was a very risky play that, honestly, they may not have wanted to make. And here comes the Uber now. Yeah, they did drop back, but they lost a soldier immediately to the Uber. So good kills here by Sunday Funday so far. They've taken out both soldiers, actually, and now should be able to push right on in. Uh, the scouts actually... Oh. Okay. So the scouts came around and tried to get a kill there on our blue team. All Both of them went around behind and worked pretty well together. Um, Pow Ash and Pow Esh. Come on, guys. Seriously? <laughs> they, they, they were both running out there trying to stop this, but it looks like Team Ask 4, they have forced enemy pop and should be able to get some time down on the point. Nicely done by Ray's to force blue team to just go stand on that point now. Um, yeah, Mayor McCheese is going to keep his team alive, but really should be thinking about backing out here. Doesn't want to lose his 66% right now. Got a huge advantage. No, don't go in there, Burrito Man. No, back away. There you go. Got a big player disadvantage right now, and they could end up losing second point here if they're not careful. Got to, got to run back, run back, run back. There you go. Now maybe start setting up some kills, but there goes the Burrito Man. So once again, they have a big player disadvantage. Yeah, they, they can't really get in there to do this anymore. They've got an Uber, but oh, they don't want to have to pop this, and the 25 health. Oh, nice kill on Mr. Bella, though. So there you go. Free Uber, essentially. This could be the end of the game. Um, I think they should just Uber now and push into the last point. Set up their presence on it. Yep, there they go. They have Ubered. But, oh, no, you got to push in, guys. you got to go now. If you've, if you've Ubered, you get out there, man. You just get in their faces. Soldier dropping in right away, but completely misses the fact that the medic was about to fade out of the Uber. Could have given the kill. There you go. McSheese is down now. Um, so... Kind of a weird push here by Sunday Funday, where now they've lost their medic, they're going to have an uber disadvantage. Rays, once again, going spy, and they should be able to hold on to the second point. They've got some sticky traps getting set up on these doors, they're going to be watching, um, yeah, and Shootist is down right now, so if blue team decides to push with this, that's going to be a very bad decision, which, I mean, it might work out, but it will still be a bad decision regardless. Uh, and they're, they're getting really far forward. Oh, Lyco could have taken a lot of damage there. Got to be really careful. Raze, finding a spot to decloak, and that soldier, oh, could have seen him do just that, but I think he's going to be, yeah, he's, he's going to be missed here. Um, it's going to be so risky. Can he get the stab that he wants? Is he just going to go, like, stand on the point? He's got to watch out for those stickies if he does that. I don't know. Right now, nobody's spotted him so far. Somebody said spy, but I don't think they've realized there actually is one. I think he was just kind of like, yep, there you go. Dane is down, and oh, Raze gets meat shot, so he is immediately dead. But the thing is, uh, with no demo man, somebody could get out there and back cap. So far, though, oh, good kills by Swag Pantalones. They've got to stop uh, Fievel from back capping, and they do just that. Fievel having to drop away here. He can get a little pressure on the medic, but he's got to watch these soldiers who could take him out. Yep, that was... Uh, a little too much to ask for. His eyes got bigger than his stomach. And then, uh, oh, good force on Mayor McCheese, apparently. So, the Sunday Funday team, I think, should be able to recapture this point. Maybe, yeah, Bella gets taken down. So, that's uh, that's going to be just about it. No, Mayor McCheese taken down as well by Pow Esh, who has 12 health and is still alive. Um, So, Swag Panelois may push back to the middle point. 
This is very, very difficult to predict because every single attack they have is... Uh, it's... I don't know. Oh, man. Um, every single attack that happens is just, like, utterly crazy. Pow Ash is dead now. Um, no, I'm sorry, not dead. He just got a kill there on Raze. I'm so confused because I'm a little bit tired. And uh, So I delivered a speech yesterday for my speech class where... I hope my professor doesn't watch this because... Uh, we were supposed to prepare like a five minute speech on, you know, something or other, like how you're, uh, uh, if you were to go to a college, your, your old alma mater, and tell them how, uh, uh, how to choose a career and like what to expect, I was just like, yeah, so I do shoutcasting, and I spent like an entire five minutes completely coming up with it off the top of my head after I'd had a beer for lunch. Like, that's, and I'm a lightweight, so after I had that beer, I was like, practically stumbling back to class, but apparently I did, like, the best out of the classroom, even though I was completely making it up on the fly, and I was like, yeah, well, that's kind of what I do an hour a day. I just, I just shoutcast and make up stories. Um, oh, XTV has a staff meeting, and I am shoutcasting, and I actually have to leave really soon to get to Austin, so uh, I guess I'll just pop in there after this is over, if I finish shoutcasting. Um, look at the dominations. They do tell the story here just a little bit, and so do the points that, uh, Right now in the second half, Swag Pantalone is doing really, really well. But, weird decision to push in here. They lost Shootist immediately. They could... Oh, they get a Burrito Man. And now the Ubers are popped for both teams. But look at that. Another kill while the Uber is down for our red team. Nicely done by... Um, oh, excuse me. By Swag Pantalone to get these kills. And there goes Shark as well. Wow, this is going to this is gonna tie it up right here. It's just two scouts. One scout left now. Dane got to jump onto the point. Um, that's it. It is... Four to four right now. And this is getting crazy. Sunday Fun Day apparently does not like the color red. That's that's what I'm getting out of this. They just you know, once once they're in the color red, it's like, oh well apparently we have a huge disadvantage. Even though it's a symmetrical map. Her <laughs> her Dane um is taking that same rollout once again. And he is just setting those stickies up there on top of the garage in case a scout pressures in on him, so that's, that's a wise decision. He's just got to be careful he doesn't kill himself. Anyway, people are poking me right now, but got to finish this shoutcast because this is actually going to be an exciting game here. With 4-4, four to four, uh, looks like, once again, Sunday Funday pretty much losing this midpoint. Well, oh, <laughs> nice kill there. Yep, that is another midpoint win. They did finally manage to take out Mr. Bella, though. So, uh, both medics getting reset there on the Uber, and Dane just uh, having some fun, playing with fireworks, and he will cap this middle point with his times two capture, because he is, in fact, holding on to the pain drain, a wicked nasty pain drain, actually, with 556 kills on it, so this guy, don't get in a melee fight with him, he will, um, he will pain train you and it will hurt. I mean, it's called the Pain Train. It's got, like, a little nail sticking out of it. What do you expect, guys? Come on. Anyway, uh, Ask4 here. Sunday Funday is now in their yard. And how much time is left in the game here? Probably still quite a lot. Yeah, 15 minutes left in this half. So, I don't know. This could last quite a while, or one team might just completely wipe out. We will see. Sticky traps here for Shark, and actually not even using them yet, because... Our uh, our Swag Pantalonis team is not really spamming into their choke points like they should be. They're instead hanging back just a little bit. And I, yeah, I don't know. They just, they need to be watching those choke points better. Because Ask For could actually waltz through, like, here right now. There's no sticky trap there. Um, where is the blue sticky trap, actually? It's right up here. Yeah, that's mm, really, really iffy. Um, and I think Sunday Foundation probably just push through the left side. They, they could completely take back mid. But they're going to play it safe, and they're going to wait for the blue team to push into them, because that is what they've been doing most of the time. And it seemed like, for the first half, it was working. For the second half, it's really not been working that well, uh, because blue team actually has been making better pushes. So, yep, there you go. Losing two players already, because they waited for the enemy to push into them. They didn't spam very well. There goes Shootus, but that is the first casualty for our blue team. And finally, the Uber popped there. Yeah, that is crazy. If, if they didn't even, like, force the pop when they were coming through those choke points, that's really bad for Sunday Funday right now. So, nice kills, and Medic kind of, like, going crazy here with the lag. Already somebody on that point, though, 
And he may end up getting the capture. Oh, so close. Lyco almost capped that. And now somebody's going to have to stand on that point constantly or else they're at risk of losing this game right away. Why isn't Slag Pandalonis pushing in right now? It's five against three. They could have just pushed that and won. Instead, they are going to wait for an uber advantage, which, I mean, they'll have. I don't know if they're going to realize how much of an advantage they'll have, but they could have pushed that and they could have won it right there. Dr. Ice on the heavy right now. We'll see where he decides to set up. Looks like he may want to go on the high ground. Sitting on that pipe is really where you want to be. So, yeah, he, he will. Yep, there you go. Dr. Ice standing on the pipe. But uh, I want to see a blue team push in with this Uber right as soon as they get it. Come on, guys. You, you should be pushing in now. No, 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 no. They're charged, and they're thinking about maybe sort of pushing kind of through one side or the other. Possibly. Maybe. Could, could they? Could they push? Yeah, Shooters could take it down there. Now this is going to be a failed push. They've already lost one player. Um, and they've let Mayor McCheese get up to 95%. He's so close. Dane and Power both taken down. The Uber's ready to go for Mayor McCheese. He does pop it. Um, yeah. Uh, they should have pushed a lot sooner. They should have been... I don't know. That's just what I'm going to say about Swag and Pantalone is they should have pushed sooner. Lyco getting some good kills here, but he cannot take out two scouts and a medic. So... Uh, the most you can hope to do is just maybe maybe damage the medic here, but Mayor McCheese with like 90-something health is not going to die anytime soon. 44 health now! Finally, Lyco is finished off there. And it did basically take long enough. There goes Mayor McCheese! Yeah, it took long enough for them to take him out that... Ooh, that uh, now there's going to be another uber advantage from Mr. Bella, but I don't know. It's, it's These last point pushes, they are tough. And if you have not practiced them a lot, then you're going to end up losing like one person before you even get anywhere near a damage position on the enemy team. So we'll see. Uh, so so far, like a 40% uber advantage because Mayor McCheese is once again not healing anybody. Um, that has been a significant source of grief, or would have been a significant source of grief for Sunday Funday if they had been pushed immediately. But they weren't. And so our Swag Panalona is going to get out there and push with the uber. Like, they've got 75% right now. They can afford to just wait a little bit, build the uber up just a bit, get their players overhealed, which is, they really need to start getting overhealed now. Okay, now they need to go. Go right now through one of those doors. Just walk out there. You've almost got the Uber. Okay, too late. Too late because now Mayor McCheese is going to have his Uber ready to go by the time you get to him. So, you know, they're waiting too long. That's just how it is. Um, 80% for our red medic right now. Oh, he does get popped up in the air. Takes a lot of damage. Dirty health. And there you go. They did kill him. So actually, the, uh, that timing worked pretty well for them. They lose their medic, and they've lost so many players here. Uh, yeah, and once again, it's going to be really tough for them to cap, but there you go. Oh, so close! Wow. <laughs> Taunting Demo Man. That is GG in favor of Swag Pantalones against Sunday Fun Day. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Salamancer bringing you a Sevo cast, which I have not done in a while. And I hope to see you again. Signing out.